Hello, my name is Meganova, and I am here once again with another reaction video. And this time it's about the new Batwoman. And I have not heard good things about this so far. Like, I want to preface this. Originally, I was pretty hopeful about this. I, I thought maybe they could pull it off. Like, I, I know the CW has been spotty with the whole... Um, with the whole series about uh, with the, like the Arrowverse stuff, uh, they've been a little heavy-handed with the uh, social justice stuff at times, but at other times, they've handled it pretty well. So you know, like I know that also like Su Supergirl has had its things, but I thought it was it also had a few moments where it actually handled it pretty well. So you know, I guess. We can't necessarily judge it yet, but, well, we can at least assess what we think we might get from uh, from watching this trailer. And, yeah, the like-to-dislike ratio is not exactly looking great. So, uh, let's just get right into it and see if this is going to be a steaming pile of garbage or if maybe there's something salvageable in here. Crows represent order, security, safety. Batman gave up on us. The ba so, I'm not really that familiar with the comics. Like, I, I haven't really read a whole lot of the comics. So, are the crows, are they like a, specifically a Batwoman thing? Or, or whatever. I haven't heard about them yet. Or before. So, yeah, let, let's... Bat's not coming back. Something's up. Eyes everywhere. Hello, said Alice. Shall we believe the crows will protect us? <laughs> uh, who the fuck is she? Do you copy? Sophie's missing. I thought you should know. Hey, Dad. We're gonna find her. Then let me help. Bad idea. Where'd you get this? What happened to staying out of it? Is there something you'd like to report to your squad? Well, I hope the acting in this trailer is not uh, indicative of what we can expect from the series. Because it's Dale. Oh yeah, and also we, we we gotta have the lesbian thing in there. Gotta make sure gotta make sure we know she's a lesbian. Although, to be fair, she is a lesbian in the comics. Th this version of her. Like the first Batwoman wasn't, but specifically this version is. So of course that's the one they're gonna choose because we gotta be progressive, right? Although, I don't really have a problem with that, actually, honestly. I just hope they don't overdo it. Like, you know, make her, like, okay, so. I don't mind gay characters. The problem is when they make them being gay their only characteristic. So I just hope they don't do that with her. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be watching this anyway, because as far as I know, it's going to be tied into the other CW shows, and I'm kind of, you know, following along with those, so... Yeah, uh, we'll see. So, wait. What happened to staying out of it? Is there something you... Okay, so does this indicate that they were caught... Having a lesbian relationship, and now they got thrown out of the army. Are, are we really gonna go with that? Like to report to your squad? Like, is that really what we're going with? Ran in with a proper backup. I do not want her getting in the way. Also, I hope the music is indicative of this show because, goddamn, it's droning and boring. 
curiouser and curiouser. What do you want? I need you to send your father a message. You're all I have left, Kate. And I don't want to lose you, too. Okay. Wing security. You owe my boss a new door. Your boss is my cousin. So she's... Okay, I guess. I didn't know that, honestly. Or maybe I did. I just forgot, I think, maybe. You you, you don't want to go near that. You are, you are seriously not supposed to know what's down. Also, this guy is some pretty shitty security. Like, is he even trying to hold her back at all? Or is it because, oh no, if, 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 if I, you know, harm the woman, I will be... Oh, God. So I have this thing with rolls. That's um pretty underwhelming bat suit, I gotta say. Like it's just so plain, is it? What even? And the bat on the front, that just That's a pretty disappointing bat suit, I gotta say. <laughs> Perfection. It will be. When it fits a woman. <laughs> of course. And here we are. We have the agenda on the sleeve. Gotta be all about the women's. Subtlety, thy name is not Batwoman. You're a female Bruce Wayne. Uh, no. Because Bruce Wayne? Sure, he inherited the company from his parents, but he used that to build the Batcave and make all his gear and all that shit. Aside from the inheritance, he's mostly a self-made man. And you know, the fact that he's been able to keep running the company and make sure that they don't, you know, bankrupt or whatever. All she did was break in and steal a suit. That's literally all she did. That is not enough to be called a fucking female Bruce Wayne. No, I refuse like, she, d and like it, it, she doesn't even have to be a female Bruce Wayne to be a good character, but just, just don't. Awesome, hilarious, handsome. No, the fact that he's calling you a female Bruce Wayne is hilarious. Ah, is her. The hero is her. Gotta make sure we know she's a woman, guys. She's a woman and she's a hero. Do you get it? She's a woman. And she can do things because she's a woman. Fuck you. Like, I don't want to harp on this, but they are just, they're putting it so much front and center. Remember, she's a woman. And that is why she's badass. No. She can be a badass who happens to be a woman. You don't. D uh, I thought we were over this. This, this just seems like pandering. Like, I... 
I wouldn't blame any woman who watches this trailer and feel pandered to in like in, in the bad way, you know? Like I I'm at a loss for words. This is so dumb. I'm not about to let a man take credit for a woman's work. Yeah. But you're a woman taking credit for a man's work. Literally, you did nothing other than go in and steal a fucking suit. You are literally taking credit for his work. The fuck? Wait, what? Dare to defy. Oh, so edgy, eh? Also, the fuck is up with that? I mean, I know in the comics she has the hair. But as far as I remember, she also has that hair out of the suit. Just a sec. I need to verify. Yeah, so, in the comics, she, ha she has the red hair. But the thing is... Yeah, like, e even outside of the suit, she has that hair. You know, so it makes sense. Why does she have that hair in the suit in here? when she clearly has short hair otherwise. Did she really think it was necessary to put on a wig for this? Like, cut out a big ass hole in the cowl to fit a fucking wig in there? What's the point? Because in order to grow her hair that long, that takes literal years. You're not going to have hair that long in that short a span of time. Like, she could have hair that long maybe by season three or some shit, if they ever get that far with this. But just, why? I don't, I, I, I do not get that point. Like, the only point there is to it is, oh, she's going to look comic book accurate. Yeah. But she doesn't when she's outside of the suit, so... There's so many dumb choices. I just... I don't fucking get it. I do not fucking get it. I, I had hopes for this. I had hopes that, th that this could possibly be a good show. Like... I know there's a lot of people who are gonna tell me, "Oh, you're you're an idiot because how would you ever think that that, 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 that something like this could be good?" Because I'm not, I'm still not that cynical. I try to be optimistic, like because we. I mean, I was even optimistic with Captain Marvel. Even during watching it, maybe I was just trying de deluding myself. I don't know. Even while watching it, I was kind of enjoying it. Like afterwards, thinking, thinking about it, I realized, yeah, it was fucking dumb and was fucking up other shit in other movies because it was screwing up the timelines because it's a prequel, but it doesn't really adhere to what has been established in the other movies after it. So it kind of fucks shit like that, and it's just, uh, uh, it's just, why, why do you refuse to make good female superheroes? I like female superheroes. I want all the female superheroes to have their own shows and movies and all that shit. I'm all for that. Just... Don't make their entire identity that they are a woman. 
She shouldn't be a female Bruce Wayne. She should be her own goddamn character. Like, the, honestly, this is demeaning to women. Because it's making it seem like they can't make their own shit. They have to take something from a pre-established man. Like, they shouldn't have to do that. Uh. Honestly, this pissed me off a lot more than I expected. Like, I'd heard it wasn't very good. Oh my god. It was worse than I'd expected. I am... Whew, well... Good thing I'm going to be go going out to see some friends at a convention later today, because uh, I need something to calm me down after this. Holy shit. And it's like, I want to make this 100% clear. I'm not mad at this because, oh, it's a woman who's getting a TV show. No. Give as many women as you want their own TV shows. Specifically, now talking about superhero shows. You, you can do that all you want. All I'm asking is that you make them good. Please. I just want good shows to watch. That aren't overly pandering and demeaning. Just... Jesus fucking Christ. Well... I I hope you uh, I hope you enjoy my my little rant here. God damn. Um. Yeah. Um. You can find all my socials down in the description if you want to go follow me anywhere. Um. I'm, I might start streaming again soon. I still have like eleven more days to do my uh, Godzilla marathon. Because I want to watch all the Godzilla movies before the next one comes out on the 29th. And I have uh, about 45 movies still to go through. So yeah, I'm a bit on a tight schedule. But, hope you enjoyed this. Um, well, tell me if, if you actually liked the trailer and think I'm just being an overly dramatic dickhead. That could very well be possible. Um, but... Either way, I uh, thank you for watching, I hope to see you again, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.